in May, I, I was having health challenges. And the, I, I actually kind of felt like the one with the issue of blood because I was having those types of issues. And when I was sitting in the office and they gave me the diagnosis, my husband was there. And only to find out that I had five fibroids. I had two the sizes of oranges and three the size of eggs. And so I, uh, the Holy Spirit just told me, ask him, can you just have surgery? I actually joined when they had the ninth year anniversary. And so when I came here in October, uh, I was sitting on side of a couple, and I guess these people, everybody thought that they, was, they were my parents, but they just kind of took me in as a, a church daughter, if I can say. And so I knew that uh, I was gonna have to have surgery, and so I said, well, let me let her know so they won't think I'm MIA. You know, I came and that's it. And so I went through the, the stage of surgery, and it was so many people calling me and if I, if I pulled my phone out, it was like first name, last name, lighthouse. <laughs> and and, and, and through, the, through the process of me recovering, I was getting crazy phone calls like, do you need us to come to your house and cook? And I'm holding the phone back like, wait, what? You need, what? And it was just so overwhelming um, in a good way because you don't hear, you don't really, you really don't hear people really being sincere with it. But for sure, I know these people were sincere. And I never forget that when I came the, uh, on the, the ninth year anniversary, the, the pastor that preached, he talked about a healing. And right then, I had already received it. I, re I had already received my healing that moment. And so we go through the surgery. I do my follow-up. And my, the, the surgeon comes back and she says, in the pathology report, you had no signs of cancer nowhere in any of it. I had four weeks of recovery, so I actually missed four weeks of church, but thank God for online, because <laughs> I was able to be online <laughs> and listen and, 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 and be encouraged and get my soul fed at that time, because if you don't have that connection with the word, the enemy can creep in and really play with your, your mental state, really play with your emotions and everything else. It has been, a, it's been times where during this process that I was like, you know, I did sink a little bit and I would, you know, I would be lying if I tell you that I didn't. I sunk a little bit and the minute I sunk, I got a call. The minute I was sinking, I got a text and I'm talking about the people from the lighthouse. For, the, for everybody that carried me through the process, who prayed for me, who encouraged me, who sent texts, who was willing to come to my home, thank you so, so very much. Um, from the center of my heart, that means so much that you would take the opportunity to come in and just see about me, even as a new member. So I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to God and so grateful for the Lighthouse and, and for Pastor Henderson as well, because I do believe that what's on the head falls to the body. And because he is such an awesome leader, he's expressing that and is carrying on through them. And I'm so grateful.